buddy. Another nice cat. Oh, this one. <laughs> this is a nice cat. Really nice cat. How we doing today, guys? We are gonna be going for some catfish here at a, a special river here near home. It's been a rainy week. Uh, it's super muddy out here, but anyways, I didn't get to go musky fishing this weekend, so I figured might as well uh, try to do a little catfish in here before uh, the weekend's completely gone. So today I have my catfish heavy rod. I'll show you guys that. And then we're also gonna be using the light rod to see if we can't catch some, some live bait to possibly throw for, uh, for bigger fish. And then the bait today is gonna be this Tyson chicken liver that we actually put Kool-Aid in, <laughs> Kool-Aid powder. So Kool-Aid chicken liver is gonna be hopefully the, the meal of the day for these cats. Anyways, I'll catch up with you in a sec. Ooh, that's pretty gnarly. Um, I might show this, I might not. It's pretty gross. Cut some of this up here. All right, so a quick rundown on the rod. Nothing crazy here. We got the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Catfish. Uh, this is a just heavy action, I guess medium heavy rod, and I'm pretty sure we got 60 pound braid on here. If not, it's 55. And uh, really, all we got here is a uh, simple, ah. But here's all we got for the setup, I mean, I should probably redo my line. I haven't cut this braid in a while. I don't go catfishing that much, but we just got to wait. So that weight is going to keep us hopefully in one spot because this, this river does have a bit of a current to it, even though it might not look it that much. And then uh, just a normal circle hook. If you don't know what these circle hooks are, you can kind of see they're curved out. So you don't actually have to set the hook. It's meant for that fish to be able to take your bait and just kind of start running with it. And by the second you start reeling, you can just have that fish on the line. You don't gotta worry about getting that hook set perfect. I'll probably still set the hook anyways, just cause <laughs> it's hard not to. Chicken liver, Kool-Aid chicken liver. And this is kind of a lot. I'm really gonna get it on this hook and man, oh man. I'm not gonna lie to you, that smells horrid. <laughs> but let's go get this in the water if I can try not to fall down this extremely muddy bank. I should've wore my boots today, I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm just gonna cast, I guess here's, oh, get our rod holder in the ground there. <laughs> but here's a shot of it kool-aid chicken liver just gonna cast it right out in the middle there and then i'm gonna start working on getting my uh, my light rod going here see if i can't catch some little bait fish who knows put that guy in the rod holder i don't like to leave much slack on these I don't like to leave much slack on my line, so I just kind of go until I feel, can feel that line's tight, and then I'll just leave it there, and I'll be watching the tip. Oh, actually, did you see that? <laughs> We're getting hits right now. Hold on. So what I kind of like to do, if I think I have something on, is I'm just gonna kind of pull it till the tension's off keeping my finger on the line so I can feel if that thing bites. Yeah, like it just did right there. It's got it. No, <laughs> it does not have it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna reel up quick. Just make sure this, oh yeah. <laughs> That's why you check. I've never fished with this chicken liver before. It's pretty soft though. So it's gonna be, we're gonna lose some, that's for sure. Oh, it just reeks too. 
Here's take two. Looks like something out of a horror movie. Get that right back in that middle there. Who knows, maybe we won't even try to fish with the light rod today. If we keep getting bites right away like that, almost no need to. The real goal here is to let the fish take it and just start running with it. I just get too antsy for that. I might actually have a fish on there. Nope. Ooh. All right, so we gotta fix that. Um, maybe I will wrap some line around it. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, the issue I'm having right now is these are incredibly soft and mushy. And I need, I need it to not fall off the hook. Just take a peek at the shoes here, the pants, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna look like I murdered somebody. And this is a public park, so. That'll be a interesting walk back to the truck when we're done, but we're just getting started, man. We're just getting started. Okay. I guess I might as well leave that sit out there. Even though there's hardly anything on the hook. Just in case something smacks it. Doubt it. So we're back. <laughs> I don't have a don't have a bobber with me, but we just got a little bit of that chicken liver on our light rod. Let's see even if we can catch a little uh little bait fish so we can throw something out on the big rod that has uh, <laughs> more potential to stay on the hook. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we're good. Barely, but we're good. <laughs> oh. Hey, something nice actually just hit the cat rod. <laughs> Bent it over a bit, I'm over here sliding. I can't even move. There's no way he's still on. Oh, he's on. Oh, he's on. This is a nice, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is a nice catfish. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna land this guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just gonna have to drag him up here. Oh, oh yeah. Big kitty on the chicken liver. <laughs> I just fired up the other camera here so you guys could get a better look at him. But yeah, we just measured him up roughly 30, 30 and a half, I think he was, but. This dude's got a massive head on him. Just a big old head. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, come on. He's so muddy, I'm sorry. But, big old kitty that does not want me to touch him. So we're gonna get him in the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's out of here. Sweet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, it is nasty out here. Yeah, I'm out of breath walking uphill to measure that guy. And he was a good cat, to be honest. All right, that gave me a, some, some new hope, some new motivation. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get that, that chicken liver Kool-Aid chicken liver rigged back up and I'm going to try to get some line on it so we can find another cat like that. That was awesome. I've caught a few cats out here but 
that was by by far the biggest so that's fun i mean i've been watching this this tip here but they've been all over this chicken liver i just can't keep, keep it on the hook that's been the real issue is they'll swipe at it and it's so mushy it'll just yeah see look they're going for it again these are just little guys that big guy bent it over i was i was over here fishing with the light rod but yeah man this stuff works great it just doesn't work great <laughs> you know fish love it but it's uh it's tough to keep on the hook we're rigged up again i actually have a little more confidence in this one i just think the way uh i was able to tie it on there with the line <laughs> it looks absolutely foul but i think it's gonna work pretty well i really do get it out there let it sink Something's messing with it. Just was. A lot of a lot of little guys in here. I guarantee you I have a little smaller circle hooks. I guarantee if I put some smaller ones on, I'd be catching little guys left and right. But now that we got the big one, I kinda wanna get an even bigger one. <laughs> That's just how it works, so I guess. Oh, something's messing with it pretty steady now. Just got a feel for him. There he's taking it a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. This is another decent cat, man. Oh. <laughs> this is actually, uh, I don't know, this, this might rival the last one here. that up just working them up right now oh yeah buddy another nice cat oh this one <laughs> this is a nice cat really nice cat oh I lost tension there for a second and got scared come on buddy Oh yeah, dude. Dude. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta get this guy in. I do not have a good way of getting him. This is huge. Oh my God, this is the biggest cat I've ever caught. Oh, this is the biggest cat I've ever caught. Come on. Oh, line broke, line broke. Oh, it doesn't matter, we got him. Doesn't matter, we got him. It's another really nice cat. Oh. This dude's huge. Oh. Oh. Second catfish of the day. And he is an absolute unit. Look at this guy. Huge. This is the biggest. Oh, God. I still gotta get the hook out of him. One more, look at this guy. Oh my God. That is an absolute beauty of a catfish. Biggest I've ever caught in my life. Back up here just to get Absolute giant of a catfish. Personal best by far. I'm gonna take a quick, quick, quick measurement on him. And we'll get this guy right back in the river. All right. That is roughly 35 half, 35 three quarter. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful cat. Let's get this guy in the water. <laughs> get this 
nice release shot here. Look at this guy. Hands are absolutely disgusting. Check him out. Ah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, he is out of here. Awesome. Wow. Oh, jeez. I forgot. <laughs> oh, my foot got stuck. Wow. Wow, those are two beautiful catfish. All right, guys. I'm just wrapping up for the day, about to head home. I am absolutely filthy, disgusting. Um, I mean, head to toe, nasty. But uh, yeah, I mean, we really only caught those two big cats. I'm not gonna complain at all. We were only out here for two hours, two and a half maybe. But uh, yeah, just came out right after lunch. It had been raining all weekend. So really this is my only opportunity to fish without getting soaked this weekend. And uh, we caught that absolute new personal best too, by the way, uh, catfish. That thing was a tank. First one was big too. Uh, as for the chicken, Kool-Aid chicken liver, I don't know if I'll be using it again. It was, uh, we were lucky today because they were biting so hard, but really on any other day, it would have been super frustrating to have that many fish biting and only reeling in two but it was kind of an experimental thing i use kool-aid chicken quite a bit and it works i mean a lot better to be honest the cats were biting more on this but it's so mushy i don't know maybe if there's a way you could uh dry it out get it to where it, it's just a little more stiff and it can stay on that hook i think it'd be really good really really good but yeah kool-aid chicken i'm gonna give it a four um it works not ideal we still got our big cat though i'm pumped i need a shower anyways don't know how much more cat fishing we'll be doing this summer i've had muskies on the mind we've been musky fishing been getting quite a few follows can't get them to bite so anyways hopefully next time i see you we have a big musky on the line but it was a great day catching big cats see you later guys do the youtube things like comment send it to your peepaw meemaw peace